Tomorrow is primary day in New York, and all eyes are on a tense battle in the state's 16th congressional district, where Congressman Jamal Bowman is facing a fierce challenge from Westchester County Executive George Latimer. CBS News' Christina Fan has a preview. Well, Mary, both candidates have packed schedules today, focusing their attention on Mount Vernon as they make a last minute push on the eve of the primary. Congressman Jamal Bowman will be stopping by a food pantry giveaway and canvas a neighborhood, while Westchester County Executive George Latimer will be joined by local clergy members for a rally. This primary race has been heated from the very start and has also exposed deep divisions within the Democratic Party, especially when it comes to U.S. policy on Israel. Bowman has been one of Congress's leading critics of Israel's war with Hamas, vocalizing his support for a ceasefire and is against U.S. military aid. Meanwhile, Latimer has been running on a more centrist position, affirming Israel's right to existence and self-defense. Over the weekend, progressive heavyweight Senator Bernie Sanders and Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez rallied for Bowman in the Bronx, while Latimer made stops in Mount Vernon and Yonkers. The race has also drawn attention for its extravagant spending, more than $20 million, with the majority coming from a super PAC associated with the pro-Israel American Israel Public Affairs Committee. If Latimer wins, he will become the first challenger to successfully unseat a member of the Democrats left wing. The seat is reliably blue, meaning whoever wins the Democratic primary tomorrow is the heavy favorite to win in November. Polls open Tuesday at 6 a.m. and close at 9 p.m. In the newsroom, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. An early voting is complete here in the city. According to the unofficial tally from the City Board of Elections, there were more than 46,000 early voting check-ins as of the time polls close. That breaks down to just under 14,300 in Queens, close to 13,500 in Brooklyn, just over 12,000 in Manhattan, and close to 6,500 in the Bronx. Staten Island did not have a primary election. And stay with CBS 2 News for all of your election night coverage. After the polls close tomorrow, we will have the results as they come in. You can you can also get updates on our website, cbsnewyork.com, or streaming on CBS News New York.